Hey guys, I know it's been a while, but this is CF Hyperion on Lexon with a new deck profile. This one is being a bit of a fun deck. You guys might see it as a bad deck. You guys might not even watch this video because this deck is, you can see is bad, but nah, continue. But like, this is my special deck that I, um, I just made for a snap from set 9 sneak peek. Um, so it's not really complete, but it's the majority of it is. So you don't, you can't complain from that. So then, let's get started. Stand up. My banger. So you start off with a Spring Breeze Messenger. So you guys thinking like, what kind of deck is this? You you expect it to be something like a cross ride deck, but no. Um, this is my special personal deck. Um, some people at my locals, they've been hating on my deck because it's bad. But no, I actually see some opportunity in the deck. It's because this deck, it actually... The reason why they don't like it is like, it's too much inconsistency with, sta with stacking like how Palinor is a bit. But yeah, it works. So uh, Spring Breeze Messenger, if you guys do not know his skill, is kind of last one when this boosts uh, a gold paladin. I was about to say Grand Blizzard. Say. But then kind of last one, put the soul when this boosts a gold paladin unit and you pay the cost. If you do, look at the top three cards. Spear call one gold paladin at rest. It could be, I believe, on a separate? Nope. This isn't, um, call it to a rear guard, so it could be even on something over it. So it could be just something, like, it could be over, like, a trigger that you accidentally called, or anything like that. But it is at rest, so you cannot have free attack out of it. But, if you guys know how to use them correctly, then you know how to use them. So now we're going to start off with triggers. We're going to have run two silent punishers, two down goals. I feel happy that I got some. Yeah, they're nice. They are nice. Uh, form flame victories. Um, his skill is base is um is a Marvel clone, which is actually you put him from the field to soul in order to select one gold powder unit, and it's gaining three thousand. So it's basically you might a trigger, but you can somehow hit cross rides, which I don't really see too much right now. Like that reminds me, like in the meta where I'm at. Like, I, I expected it said 9 for the meta to change so much, but no, it's just regular, regular. Like, I don't see any, too many cross rides. The only cross ride I still see is Dope, which is not as much played. Um, and then, of course, the set 9 cross rides might come out in the future, because, like, right now, they are very low since it's still sneak. When I'm recording, this is still sneak peek time. And, yeah. So then, I run 4 speeder hounds. I could run Guidian or anything. Just do not run Falcon Knight of the Azure, and I can not believe I still remember the name of it. And then, last of all, four heals. Uh, pretty standard. Eight crit, four draw. And then, Grave Ones. I run four Gareth. Um, Gareth is a good beat stick. And then, um, his ability, it's no ability. <laughs> But like his ability for boosting units allows you to hit cross rides. Like most of the cards in this deck, since of course gold paladins, they lack the defensive part against cross rides or 11Ks in general. But if you would put this behind a U mains, you could just hit a cross ride for using 10 shield, which is still good. So I don't complain about that. Next, I run four Halo Shield marks. Uh, sadly, I did not pull the reprint one, but, like, uh, my friend did, and now he's all flaunting it, but, yeah, I'm fine. But, yeah, he is amazing. Like, I still run four. You run four in any deck. It's just player preference. You can run three or two or one. Just, I like running four. Uh, next for grade ones, I run three Dindrain's. Uh, Dindrain's ability is when she's called from the deck. You may Soul Blast one. And draw one card. I believe it's only if you have a gold paladin unit as a vanguard. Yeah, you need a gold paladin vanguard. So this can't be used in any deck. And plus, a lot of hate for hybrids from Bushy Road. They don't like hybrids. And when I really do mean the incomplete part, this is basically the only thing that's incomplete. I run two Kaidens. I'm supposed to be running the third one, but then the next card you can see why. Um, his ability is combat one retire one unit 
And when this boosts and hits the Vanguard while it's boosting a Gold Paladin, look at the top card of your deck and superior called it at rest in an open rear guard and put the rest of the bottom of the deck in any order. Like most of the superior calling in this deck is basically put it to the bottom in any order. Um, he is good. He pressures even like he, basically the only attacker Kakin Rose you see that like are pressured is Vivian Rose and a Spring Breeze Row. But this guy, he allows you to he stays on the field too. So like you can't hit back row as well unless if you could retire it. But yeah, so he is pretty deadly. And then last, I run one Slayer Dagger. Um, it's a basic booster right now um, for my main Vanguard. If I did not, if I still have any extra counter last, I want to try it, whoop that for final turn. But other than that, it's supposed to be the third Kaiden. But right now, it still actually works. Uh, grade twos, I run four Lapier Shooters. Um, these things actually went up in price, I believe. Like, but that was like a few months ago. But like, I don't know about now. Um, back then, I believe my friend called him at 15, but I think that's a bit too much. Uh, I value mine to about, like, I'd go 5 maybe, but, like, this is my deck. So, I, I need them. I need I need them. So then, his ability allows you to be the super stackiness. So then, um, let me see. His skill is, when he's called from the deck, discard one card. Look at the top three cards of your deck and superior call one card anywhere on the field, even over him, but not on Vanguard Circle. And he's basically the support superior caller. And you could increase by numbers, or should I say bunny population? If you know what I mean. But if you don't, then it's basically spamming. Um for the superior callers of this grade, I run three give three Vivian. Um I was thinking about four, but it's a bit inconsistent. Uh, the sex a bit. Yeah, I don't want this deck to be more hated a bit. But her ability is counter blast one Vanguard or Rearguard. When this is placed on, when this attacks a Vanguard, while this is boosted by a Gold Paladin, and you have four or less Rearguards, Superior Call one card from the top of your deck, and if it's a Gold Paladin, Superior Call to an open Rearguard, any a separate open Rearguard. So then it's basically. Put this plus Kaiden is a 16 power, so then it hits most decks. So then, beware. Uh, my deck's threatening, in a way. And last for grade twos is for view main. Um, regular beat stick. Um, I like him. Um, uh, he actually does help, and like just in case, like if I would do Spring Breeze, like um, for example. Like, I put Spring Breeze right here, and I put Vivian right here. So then, that's going to be a 14, and let's say my Vanguard's in the Hollem. My opponent's Vanguard's in the Hollem. So then, he's just going to use a 10k for no hit. But, this guy, even though it's one call, Spring Breeze call, looks at top 3, so you actually have some more control over your Spear Calling. As well, is going to hit, even though if he guards for 10, it's still 1 to hit, so he needs 15 at least for no guard. For no hit. So that's why I love about it. Uh, now for grade threes. This is what I am pretty proud of. I got four Chrome Jailer Dragons. Just today. And um, so like the story is. I pulled one. One of them was for trade. I mean one was for trade. Um, and then these two were from my other friends. But yeah. That's how it's pretty cool. I love this. I was so proud of myself for got, for getting four on the first day of sneak peek as well. There were the only four in the store, like like in literally in the store there were actually three, but then um, one of my friends he pulled one from um from another from another sneak peek on Friday, which it was uh from C and J's. But yeah, I'm so happy I got four already. So yeah, oh uh, oh yeah, his skill is first of all Limbrick four counter blast two, retire two units, gain ten thousand plus critical. So then, that's already, a, that's already like, oh, you think, oh, spec, I mean, it's a fan Blaster Dragon without the 11k. Oh yeah, he's also a 10,000. Like, a biggest letdown about this card is, everyone thought it was a Duke Cross ride. Nope. <laughs> and then, the last thing about him is his Persona Blast ability, which is a Cannon Blast 1, Vanguard only. They're all Vanguard abilities. Um, Persona Blast, I mean, 
look at the top four cards your deck superior call up to two um up to two gold paladins and separate open rear guards so like he is a better phantom blaster dragon or you could say a better yeah he's basically a better phantom blaster dragon plus a phantom blaster overlord um you can like this is how um this is how i did this once is like i use its ability to limp for retire bring them i mean do the persona blast and then i could try to get din drains out of my superior calling or try to regain population with my lopia shooters and then do the limb break again and then now i still have i didn't really minus too much in hand besides one um one chrome jelly that turn and plus if you rode well if you rode it but that was like a few turns ago and that's only if you could achieve by having no counter blasting which is very weird in the deck. you really actually do counter blast before you bring them out but just in case and as well like its ability is massive so it's going to be 20 critical 3, and plus you actually somehow repopulated your field, so then now you can hit for high numbers again. And then it forces your opponents out the perfect shield, or if they don't, then you could try to stop their hand. But usually do that when they're at low hand count, like 5 or less. And then that works. Next for grade 2, this is the why people hate my deck. I run 2 Pelinors. This is my Chrome Bunny deck. Some of you might have left this um, left this deck profile out, but dude, this deck is awesome. And then his ability, first of all, is limp break for no counter blast. Um, return two gold powder and rear guards back to the bottom of the deck in any order. Um, select up select up to two units. They gain five thousand power, but you cannot select the unit twice. And then the second ability is when this is placed onto the vanguards I mean on the rear guard circle from the deck you may discard one gold paladin and then put it onto the vanguard circle this is not considered a superior ride quote unquote bushy road because if you do then you will get like solitary knight gansel off you could get like this weird combo with spring breeze off but other than that oh just don't mind that and it was just amazing like I like how they stated like you only like this is a movement from vanguard circle to I mean from rear guard to vanguard circle so yeah, that's pretty much good. Last, I run two Garmors. Um, his ability, first of all, is limb break four. When this attacks, it gains five thousand power. Um, the second ability is when this is placed on Vanguard Circle Counterblast two. Uh, look through your deck, superior call one Grade two or less um, Gold Paladin unit. So yeah, he's actually he's pretty decent. I like him. Like. He is a good tech in this deck, but like everyone said, like maybe run Chrome, Garmor Chrome. Yeah, but this deck is awesome. Like this is my Chrome Bunny deck. This deck has gotten me so much awesomeness um, since its birth, and I hope you guys love this deck. I love this deck right now. But if you see any mistakes or any um thing you consider, like oh why you run this, and then you can question my actions during the, in the comments. But, other than that, um, give your opinion of this deck. I'm pretty open-minded. Um, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty open-minded of this deck. I want to see any more suggestions. I want to see if it works or not. But other than that, I actually did pretty good. So yeah, this is CF Hyperion Lexon saying goodbye. Have a nice day. Hope you have a great summer because right now it's in the summer. But yeah, bye.